serious? How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here and I didn't think I had to make this video. Now if you follow OKJLOF okay or OpossumBot, which I highly suggest you do, they do awesome stuff, you might have seen this nonsense already. A Lily reminds you a rare card, a holo rare, or this is kind of the special case, a trainer rare, which was only a one-off or two-off in, in a booster box, but this is being sold for 90 euros, which is kind of ridiculous. Now, the surprising thing to me, I actually looked at the Sky Legend booster box about three days ago, and it was sitting at 120 euros. It's now sitting at over 200. Just because people think, mind you, people think this card should be worth 100, which it isn't. It isn't and it shouldn't. This is absolute nonsense. This is some of the ridiculous shit that's been going on past these past few weeks. And I have a lot of links here. I can't even show them all. I have so many links, so many cards and things that I want to talk about. So let's just get straight into it. So as I've said, this is a normal holo, but it's being sold for 90, which is ridiculous. Now, the this little card right here, it's the full art. This is like, I think, this might be the most expensive um, full art trainer you can pull. That is not a promo. I mean, there is the, the Lily um, Sun and Moon promo, and there's also like um, Alolan, for instance. I'm pretty sure are much more expensive. But if we just check this, this site, by the way, this site is really good for like looking up older prices. And as we can see here, this was right around the time, if I can get a price right here, I might have to zoom in a bit. This was right around the time when, when the set was released. This is from GX Battle Boost, and that was at a time where Japanese Pokemon cards weren't as popular. You could find these boxes for MSRP probably like a few few years still back until the whole craze happened. So this was being sold for 22,000 yen, which at the top of my head might be around 200, 200 euros, 200 dollars, right about there. And as you can see, the card went, went up a lot. Like ever since the craze happened, it went up steadily. Steadily, man, it was already sitting right here in 2022. We're sitting, if I can get a price here. Oh, right here. 490,000. Oh, yeah, the blue line. Didn't mention this. The blue line is for, like, undamaged products, like what you would say, like a near mint or mint copy. And then the yellow line is, like, for a for an excellent, likely played, like, heavily played, something like that. And then the green line is PSA 10s, but we're going to ignore those. Those, like, completely mess up the price. It was already being sold for 490000 which is quite ridiculous. But if we look at the price, like, right now, there's recently been a sale that was literally yesterday at the time of recording this for 2.45 million yen. I, how much is that even? That must be, like, around 2,000 euros or something. Like, just at the top of my head. That must be over 2,000. And that is ridiculous for a Fuller Trainer. Now, this is not the only thing. This is not the only card that is being being pushed in a way. From what I've noticed, every single card, or like 90% of cards that have Lily, are being pushed. They are being like made, I don't know, artificially expensive, in my opinion. Now, the same thing happened with the... With the other Lily from, from Ultra Prison. Let me just find this one right here. And let me do this. An excellent copy and language should be English, of course. So an excellent copy goes for 350 euros. I'm pretty sure a near mint copy goes for like around 500. I, I remember I bought this like I think over a year ago. Maybe just one year ago for 175 which I thought at the time was ridiculously expensive. And oh boy, I made the right choice, didn't I? Still, this is so stupid. Here's another card. This card, literally, this card was so cheap when it was first released. If we just look right here, this is where the dip was. 9,000 yen, well, 90, 90 euros. I remember people saying, though, this was super cheap. You could literally pick this up anywhere. This might be because the the graph doesn't go back as far, but still, if you could if you could buy this for 90 right now, I think you'd be pretty happy. 
Because right now, it's 100,000 yen. It was... Yeah, it's 100,000 yen, which is about 1,000, so the 2.4 million yen. No, that's that's over 20,000, isn't it? The 2.4 million yen must be over 20,000 then, hang on. Yeah, okay, so I wasn't too sure. My math was off a, a lot. As it turns out, 2.45 million yen are 16,000 euros, which is which is insane. So this being 2,000 euros, where is it? I've... I've lost the link, I have so many links. So this being 2,000 euro, no, it's 100,000 yen, which is about 800 euros, I think. Let me just check that, you know, just to be sure. Yeah, so about 676. So my math was, was correct there. That is ridiculous. And this is, unfortunately, this is not the only card that features Lily that is being pushed. As you're gonna see um, right here, these are these two links. Let me just pull them right here. No, that's the wrong one. This one. Right. So this is the Sokaleo and Lunala GX from Dream League. Dream League, by the way, is also getting um, quite expensive. 500 is the cheapest. Let's just reload here. So 500 is the cheapest. And I bought this for my 100 subscriber special. I bought this box for, I think I paid 250 at the time, which, looking back, I still thought was really expensive. Man, oh man, was I ever wrong. This is twice as much, maybe three times as much. Once this gets sold, which it will, 100%, it's three times more expensive than what I paid. And that was like, what, half a year ago? That is really insane. Now, the cards in Dream League are also quite, quite expensive. Yeah. The Sogaleo, there's only one offer. Well, that's a PSA 10. That doesn't really say much. I can assure you, though, I have seen multiple offers of this card, specifically on card market, ranging from 300, which was very quickly sold. And I think I had one from like very early on, which was a CGC 9.5 that was being sold for 185. That was before this whole craze. I actually wanted to buy that one, but unfortunately it was gone when I contacted the, the seller. Um, oh well. Oh well. But ranging yeah, from 300 to 600 euros, which is quite insane. Also this one, which is just a normal double rare, which I, I actually didn't pull in my opening, but I did buy this for 5 euros or something like that. Just, you know, to have it, to get it graded in at some point. And this is being sold for 25 now. J why? Because it has Lily on it. That's the sole reason people are trying to push this. And here we have the price history for this card. And let me just, let me just show you, like, right here. This is where, where, like, it was freshly released, which is always a bit more expensive. So this was kind of like a dip right here. 900 yen. 900 yen for that card. That's like, what, 8 euros? And then it picked up a bit right here. There was a high point right here. Well, right here, 7,200 yen. You know, that's still okay. That's still okay. And from there, it all went downhill. It all went downhill. I mean, right here, 12,000 yen. Yes, yes, that's fine. And here is where it picked up. This is where it picked up a lot. Check out the recent sale for 90,000 yen. 90,000 yen for a raw copy of this card. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I mean, just to reiterate how much this actually is. So this is 10,000. This is 90,000. That is a 600 euro card. Is it worth that much? Hell no. I mean, it's cool, but this is only as expensive because it features Lily. That's the only reason. And I I think this, this bubble, this bubble is going to burst. The bubble of this whole Japanese market, like, being ultra expensive with the full out trainers and everything, that bubble started popping the moment Iono was too expensive. The moment Iono cracked that over $1,000 car, that $1,000 price or whatever it was. That was the moment when the bubble started bursting. Now, it hasn't burst completely yet. We did have a small fix with the made-to-order clay burst set from the Pokemon Center. 
that was like the the first time the Pokemon Center or the Pokemon Company Japan acknowledged something is seriously going wrong here. And we're not gonna stand for that. So we're just gonna be making these booster boxes made to order. So basically, if you order one, you get one. As simple as that. And that's that's the same thing that's gonna happen with Dream League. That's the same thing that's gonna happen with EV Heroes. They have gone onto record and said that we are looking at the situation and we will even consider reprinting older out of print sets like Dream League, like what is it, VMAX Climax, maybe even Tech Team Ultras, although I wouldn't be too sure about that, but EV Heroes, Dream League, I think that's a given once they actually do what they promise to. So, this is another one. This is not as expensive as the Lily, but still, this is just a normal holo being sold for 12 euros. Here's another one, the Lusamine, being sold for 54 euros, just because it's a hollow. Here's another one, the, the Prism card from Super Burst Impact, 30 euros. Why it's quite ridiculous, here is a hollow. Mind you, this is a normal hollow from Shiny Star V. I probably, you know what, I probably have one of these in my bulk, lying around somewhere. I have probably some of these lying around somewhere. A PSA 10 sold for 110,000 yen. Just a normal holo. And I don't understand why. This is not even the full art. This is just a normal holo that is not rare. You can pull this. If you open a Shiny Star V-Box, there are there's a high chance that you're gonna pull this card. Ridiculous. The Sightseer, I mean. You already know that this card is ridiculously expensive. This has gotten expensive over over quite some time. There's also this hollow. Same with the Lily hollow. Look at this, being sold for 50 euros. If we just look back here, oh yeah. Look, at the end of the year it was being sold for 1 euro. Why? Because it's a fucking hollow. That's what it is. It's a fucking hollow. It's not a full art. It's not worth 50 euros. Just look at the price history of this full art from the Sightseer, I mean, you know, at the start of like 2022 or like the start of 2021, you know, when I got back into it slightly, I always looked at this card and thought, man, I wish I could have that card one day, that looks sick, you know, for my full art trainer collection. Um, I should have bought it right when I got back into the hobby, it was 15,000, I just saw it for a second, 15,000 yen for a flawless copy, which is like, what, 120 euros or 100 euros, something like that. You wanna buy that card right now, you you better have deep pockets, because that's 180,000 yen now. Now, this is not exclusive to the Japanese market. As you've seen with the Lily that I just showed you from Ultra Prison, that has gained value. The Lycia, the Rosa, and the Misty, like the so-called, quote-unquote, waifus. Yeah? You're still with me? Good. This is this is ridiculous. And as you can see here, the tag team market as well, which I'm gonna get into a bit later, as you can see here. Also quite ridiculous. Here's another one, the Altaria, which I actually didn't pick up on. I had this sitting in my bulk binder because I didn't have space for it in my main binder. And it is it is sitting at 23 euros now. Why? This was 5 euros or 10 euros at most for the lo for the longest part, and it's now sitting at like 23. As you can see here, when we go to... This was from Incandescent Arcana, I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Yeah, it is. Okay. I might have even pulled this on the channel. I'm not too sure. So let me just go back right here. So this is when it was freshly released. 489 yen. 4 euros for that card. 4 euros, and right now, if we just look at this, we are at almost 5,000 yen. That is a over 10 times increase in price, or like, let's just say 10 times increase in price. Why? Well, because it features a female character on the artwork. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a character rare, and the main focus of, of these character rares is not the Pokémon itself, it's also the characters in a way. It's the same with the with the breaks and from Dark Phantasma, I do believe. Would have to know how to spell breaks. Here we go. That's the one. This also has been picking up. This was five euros. I think I bought it for like five or six. It's now sitting at twenty for a Japanese copy. Why? Well, because it features Serena. That's the only reason. 
That is the only reason here. There's another one. The Alteria being sold for 6,100 yen. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Here's another one. This is a card I've recently bought. I got, I want to say, really lucky on it because I bought this for 26 euros. And you can see it's being sold for like 50 or 70, which is ridiculous. And here is another one. Now, this actually really, really surprised me. This really surprised me. I bought this card in a CGC 9, but this really surprised me. I bought this for 32 euros at the, at the end of 2022. So let us just see right here what the price was towards the end. Like right here. 4,500. So that was the price. I paid market value for that card. Around that time. If you look at it now, 16,000. 16,000. That's a three times increase. Over a span of six months. Now, there's one thing I do have to say. Pokemon cards appreciate over time. They always have. You know, look at Vintage. Look at all the Charizard cards. But what we're seeing here is unprecedented. These cards appreciate much higher and much more quickly than they should. And that's quite ridiculous. Here, this is actually really interesting to me. This is a buying guide. So this is a, a card store in Japan. And this is a post from January 13th. So this is like basically at the start of the year. As you can see here. They are buying these cards for these prices, so let's just see the Latias and Lautios. They're buying it for 85,000 yen. The Arceus and Diaga and Palkia GX, they're buying that for 35,000. They're buying the Solgaleo and Lunala GX for 20,000. That's, that's pretty cheap if you compare to, to these prices today. Now, here's another post. This is basically from, well, this was the latest post I could find. Pretty sure by the time I, I like, release this video, it's going to be outdated again. But let's just see. So, the, the buying price from the Arceus in the span of six months doubled. That's now 17,000. This I didn't even see. The Charizard and Bray, or the Charizard and Reshiram GX, that went from 40,000 to 100,000. That is... Really ridiculous. The f the freaking Latias and Latios went from eighty five thousand to twenty no two hundred and eighty thousand. What is going on? The Lily went from twenty thousand to sixty thousand. That is absolutely ridiculous. Well, as I've mentioned earlier, the tech teams have also spiked in price, and I think. I mean, people are, are like throwing around the term market manipulation and I think to a certain degree that's true for like some cards, but there are cards that, as I've said, they just appreciate over time. But some of these cards appreciate way too quickly, in my opinion. Um, here we have the Mega Lopunny. At the start of the year, it was around 30, 33 euros and now it's 68, where you'd be lucky to get a copy for like around 90 for a near mint. Here is the Arceus Diaga and Palkia GX. I, I had a PSA 8 copy of this card and unfortunately I sold it. I really wish I hadn't now, but you know, you win some, you lose some. It is what it is. Um, start of the year, 100. Now it's 190. That is appreciation. I mean, I think that is still normal and same with the Mega Lopunny. But there are other cards out here that do not match. Like, let's just see this spike for the Solgaleo and Lunala. This is the English copy. Once again, it features Lily, although it's not quite as bad over in the English TCG. Yet, it might happen. I hope it doesn't. But it went from, at the start of the year, from like 62 to 170. 170 euros for that card. Now, if you're building, I feel really sorry. For, for the people who are trying to build a tag team collection now. I feel so sorry for you, because I know that you're gonna get duped. That's what it is. You're, you're gonna get duped. You're gonna lose some money, because these cards should not be as expensive as they are. Reshiram and Zekrom, the, the other one from, like, quote-unquote Dream League or Cosmic Eclipse. As is the English at 50 euros, you'd be happy to get one for 100. 
the Marshadow, yeah, the Marshadow and Machamp, that went from forty-six dollars to a hundred and twenty. Why? Why? Yes, the artwork is nice, but why? Why is that card suddenly three times more expensive? Now, the Greninja and Zoroark, I mean, same story here. The same story here. At the start of the year, it was like 43, and now you'd be lucky to find one for 92. Or like for around 90. Gengar and Mimikyu, another one. At the start of the year, like around 130. Yeah, let's say 130. Now you'd be lucky to find one for below 350. And this is... That's, that's one that's incredibly suspect to me. I mean, this just looks like someone bought all the stock and then suddenly it just went on. And as I've said, appreciation is normal in, in, this, in this TCG, in this hobby. It happens, it happens all the time. I mean, look at cards from like Vintage Era now. Try finding a Crystal Lugia or something like that, or Crystal Charizard. But this is way too quick. And this one is, I think, the, the one that, that broke. I looked at this card, actually, for one of my videos for the um, tech team, like the best tech team cards. And I think I said it was 250 at the start of the year, and it was then 500 at the time of releasing the video. And now it's sitting at like 800, 900 euros. When is this going to stop? I mean, there's only one way this is going to stop. If the Pokemon company like steps in and reprints these sets, which I don't think is going to happen. I I don't think that's going to happen. A Magikarp and Wailor. This is also one that like really, really surprised me. That really surprised me. Like, this was at the start of the year, like, 150. I mean, it was already quite, quite expensive, 150. But now, okay, this one is a Chinese one. So, let's just go for a near mint English one. 400. 400 for that card. Do you, do you, do you want to spend four, uh, 400 for, for this card? Do you? Or... I mean, this is as bad that I do believe that... If this trend continues, people are going to leave the hobby. Like, at some point, people's patience will be over. And they're just going to leave the hobby. Like, there are so many people out there that just collect for fun that do not have the ability to spend 400 euros on a single card. And I feel bad for them, I really do. This is just so disheartening, to be honest. Like, as I've said earlier, I, I really pity the people who, who try to build a tag team collection nowadays. Because you're going to have to spend more money. If you really want to finish it, you're going to have to spend more money than you origin originally thought. And the only reason why is because of market manipulation to a certain degree. And this is only going to end one way, and it's going to end badly, I can tell you. Because at some point, these cars are going to reach a price that people aren't willing to pay. And then, then the other people who are trying to push these prices are going to sit on them. And I hope they do. I hope they sit on them, and I hope they never get to sell their copies. The people who push these kind of prices. But, well, I have been rambling on for about half an hour. That's really everything I wanted to talk about in this video. I just had to get that out. I hope you did enjoy my ramblings. If you did, then a like and a sub would be appreciated. I have planned to un to upload my um, Paldea Evolved unboxing um, later this week. It was, well, it is planned for Saturday. It depends on a whole lot of different things. Um, for one, if the delivery is, like, on time. And if I can actually talk properly. Since by the time this video comes out, I'll have my... I'll have had my wisdom teeth removed. So I don't even know if I'm able to talk. But I'll, I'll keep you updated on the community tab, I suppose. Well, but anyways, thanks for watching. Oh, we'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace.